everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited we get to keep working on our um, country projects today. Um, I think we're gonna have some really cool projects that we make later. Today, we first need to finish taking notes. Last time, we categorized or sorted our notes by which topic it was about. This time, we're gonna think about taking really concise notes. So here's our learning target. We will take concise notes. And I wrote here, concise means short. Um, really, concise means it's short, but it gives you a lot of information in just a few words. So of course you want to take concise notes. It's going to make your life easier because it goes faster for you, okay? And we can get to the more creative part then. Um, and also, you want to take concise notes because it helps us use our own words later. Um, and when we use our own words, we call that paraphrasing. Um, and so when you go to do your writing, you're not just going to say exactly what was already in the article. What's the point of writing it again? It was already said. You guys want to use your own words. So I'm going to have you watch me as I go into culturegrams um, and take some concise notes, and then you guys could try. And when you try, I want you to log on to Teams so I can help guide you through it for the first part. Okay? And our goal by the end of, the t end of today is that we finish taking our notes entirely. So I'll guide you through the first part on Teams, but you might have a few to do on your own after the class. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now I'm on the Culturegrams website and I am on my country actually, Colombia, and I am going to go down and I'm gonna choose another category to do. You could choose your own. Today I'm gonna choose, let me see, I'll choose schools. So I click on the side. And you could have it read out loud for you by clicking the listen button or you could read it yourself. I'm going to listen to it today. Republic of Columbia Schools. Adult Literacy 95.09% .09 Colombian children learn math, science, language, and history. They also study English. Kids wear uniforms at school, usually a white shirt and dark shorts, for boys, or a skirt, for girls. Some wealthier kids go to private schools. Many schools run on two separate schedules. Schedule A begins sometime in January or February and ends in November. Schedule B runs from around September to June. Students usually go home to eat lunch. Colombian children who live in cities typically have access to computers. Across the nation, internet use has grown, though some areas have poorer connections than others do. Sometimes, rural, countryside, kids are needed at home or on the farm and have to drop out of school. Okay, so I got to hear it once. You might want to hear it two or three times before you're ready to take notes. And I'm going to show you how I take notes on that section. First of all, I'm going to keep looking back at my screen. My screen's right here, so you'll see me looking up to make sure that I know what I'm going to write. Um, and I'm not going to use the same words they used. I'm going to use my own words. And the way I'm going to do that is by trying to be concise or short. So I might go back and reread it again to help me. Math, science, language, history. Oh, kids wear uniforms at school. So I'm gonna see if I can make that shorter. I'll just say student uniforms. Because I know that that means they are wearing the uniforms. I just wrote student uniforms. Oops, if you look, I forgot something. I should say what this category is. This category is schools. Since it's a title, I write a capital S and I underline it so I know that it's the title. And I'll keep going. Okay, what else do I remember? Oh, more about the uniforms. I remember there were shirts, shorts, and maybe skirts. So I'm going to add that. Shirts, shorts, skirts. That's pretty concise. That's just the most important words. I can add it. I can make it into a sentence later. Also notice how I'm using bullet points still. I remember they talked about two schedules. There was like a schedule A and a schedule B. So I remember schedule A, oh, actually I don't quite remember. I'm gonna look back. Oh yeah, schedule A went from January or February all the way through November. Schedule B, I remember that one went from September to June. I remember that because that was like similar to how it is in Seattle. So I even used an abbrevi abbreviation. I wrote schedule all the way out down here so I would remember how to spell it. That way when I'm going to write, I don't have to look back for spelling. So if there's a tricky word, you might write it all the way out. 
I did abbreviate it up here. I just wrote scared because I didn't need to write it twice. And then I also abbreviated my month names. When I go to write, I'll write them all the way out, but I don't need to now. It's note taking. It's time to be concise. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else I read that was really interesting. I'm just rereading. Yep, I thought it was cool that kids sometimes go home for lunch. So I'm just writing go home for lunch. And would you believe it? I know I was concise because I got, let me count, one, two, three, four, five. I got five notes and it all fit in this small one fourth of the page. Um, so I want you guys to go ahead and try being concise with your notes as well. It's gonna help you paraphrase later, say it in your own words. It's gonna be faster for you too. So what I want you to do is today, I would love it if we could get all four sections done. Check in with me. Take more notes. And if you missed a day last week, then we'll talk, okay? Maybe you would do a little less. So anyways, um, go ahead, log on to Teams, and I can help you through it. Um, also, if you forgot how to get onto Culturegrams, okay, uh, you could watch our how-to video. It's linked in your schedule, okay? All right, well, I'll see you guys soon. I can't wait to see what notes we take. Um, yeah, these projects, I think they're gonna be really cool. I've been really loving what I see so far, and I can't wait to work with you guys again today. All right, bye.